Hello and welcome to a new episode of Tester Tech. Today I want to revisit an interesting project and the project is called Kiwi TCMS. And last video I made about it, I used Kiwi TCMS as an example of the out of the box experience. In hindsight, I don't think that's really a fair comparison to be made for that project. And I'll tell you the reason why. Because I used Red Hat Enterprise Linux to test the out of the box experience. But the issue there was really Docker and Docker Compose. The, the project is not at fault there. And But the video uh, did make some, some uh, interesting changes, at least uh, for the documentation. And also out of the box experience was in fact improved by the developers. So good job there. And I had some contact on FOSDEM this year with Alexander, one of the developers. And I said, well, I will try it again. And that's what this video is about. So in the first part of the video, I will show you the out of the box experience of Kiwi TCMS in Docker using Ubuntu 18.04. And after that, I will show the same out of the box experience in Red Hat Enterprise Linux, just to be fair. And for who's is interesting, I think it's interesting for people who just want to see, well, what does the project, how easily can I install it uh, on Ubuntu, and spoiler alert, it works very good on Ubuntu. But we are using Snap and we are using Docker. For Red Hat Enterprise Linux, I run into some issues and I will also get get very far in that, but uh, on the end I get stuck anyway. So it's not working on Red Hat Enterprise Linux without too much tinkering. So you can change it to using Docker CE and I expect then it will work, but I don't want to use it because there is a reason that Red Hat Enterprise Linux does not support Docker anymore. But that's a whole different topic. So this is part one of the video. And I also want to create a second part where I start using Kiwi TCMS and I will uh, create a Selenium script using Python and then send it, send the results to Kiwi TCMS for reporting, just similar like I did with test project and see how you can start doing that. Stay tuned for that one. There's a good chance if you're viewing this video now that I've already created a video. In that case, there's a link to that video in the description below. And now let's just get started. Let me first show you the out of the box experience of Kiwi uh, using Ubuntu VM. And uh, to show you, I have the boxes application and I will revert to a snapshot it's a clean install, revert to the state. So just doing an apt-get update and apt-get upgrade. If I click on it, you will see the Ubuntu VM. Let me first install uh, OpenSSH server uh, git and vim and if you read the documentation of kiwi it's uh in a, i have the link in the description below is read the docs you will have a couple of steps so the first step is to do a docker pull but let me first check if docker is installed it's not installed first uh, using snap you can also of course do the apt version but for this demo I don't really care which version it is once you have that installed you can do the docker pull kiwi tcms slash kiwi so it's going to pull down the images needed for kiwi tcms give it a little bit of time so if it's uh, finished, download a newer image, latest. That step is done. Let's uh, create a directory for Kiwi and also CD into that directory and <coughs> do a wget. I think wget is installed on Ubuntu by default. Yes, it is. So wget this docker compose file is also in the reader docs. 
Okay, if we've done that, we have the Docker Compose file here. We can open that in Vim and see what's being done. Okay, and then we just do Docker Compose up dash D. Once that has been completed, you'll see the Kiwi DB and Kiwi Web here. Ne uh, next step is uh, to execute something on the Kiwi Web container. That's this one. And you do manage with uh, an argument called initial setup. So one is applying the migrations. Two will be to create the user and three is to set the domain. Once step one is finished, let's uh, finish by adding some demo user. Okay, uh, let's stick to localhost for this domain and then setting the permissions. So now the initial setup has been finished. If you would visit localhost, you will be greeted by this uh, this image. If you don't have like a certificate of yourself installed, but this is the default uh, page you see, and then you see potential security risk ahead. Oh, that's the wrong button. I want to click on advanced. And the error code is error unknown issuer. If you look at this certificate, I'm not an expert on certificates, but I think this is a self-signed certificate. But you can just accept the risk because you know what you're doing. If you click one button, then you will be greeted with the Kiwi page itself. And you can log in and you can just start by adding uh, some test plan, etc. I'll do it very quickly. I should just fill in some uh, junk data. So classification is obligated. Save here and now I have the product. The version one uh, test plan. Okay, so now I have the test plan and then you can add uh, Test case to a plan. The product is filled, category, and some boilerplate here, scenario, given when then, etc. If we hit save, then you have that set up and you can start testing. So very, very easy to get started and very easy to uh, pick it up. At least on Ubuntu, the process is very, very simple, straightforward. And now I'll sh show you how it looks on Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 8.3. So for Red Hat, I have another VM and I will also convert it to a clean state with git, vim and wget installed. I'll refer to the state. Okay, now it's in this state again. Uh, let's uh, do the same uh, like we did before. And just uh, because we have Vim and wget, and I think we also have git, yes, we have git installed, then we can just start uh, by writing docker, and it says command not found. Install package potman docker to provide command docker. Um, I could do that, of course. Uh, I'm already root, so dnf install uh, potman docker. Once docker potman or potman docker is installed, I uh, can do the same. So if we type uh, docker here, then you will see emulating docker CLI. So I think that's good to uh, proceed and uh, make the dir again of uh, Kiwi. 
CD into Kiwi. And then also the Docker pool, Kiwi TCMS slash Kiwi. So it's quite similar to this point to Ubuntu. But you see some information here in the top. Um, so it's trying to retrieve it probably from registry.redhat.io. It's not in there. And then it goes to Docker.io, I think. So this has been done. So the image is, uh, is downloaded. And then uh, we do the wget uh, command again. You have to download it and then you can also open it oh. and see that it's, uh, it's the same file as on Ubuntu. And then the next step is doing the docker compose up dash d. And then it says docker compose command not found. But uh, user local bin docker it's not, it's not in there as well pip 3 install docker compose if you have this error that means you have um, there's, so there's something to do with cryptography and for that I'm not going to copy paste let me open up a new terminal real quick so that i can uh, copy paste a little bit better so because i uh, into the kiwi directory as well i uh, should have done this before to be honest but it's okay so for this you need to uh, make sure pip is installed it is installed and you can must also make sure it's upgraded okay pip3 install upgrade pip that's the right that's the right command pip3 install setup tools upgrade also that and if for some reason you at least the snippet i found i will also have it in the link in the description below but set also to install that wheel and then you can try it again After that, because your root Docker, uh, you can do try Docker compose command not found, but it's in user local bin Docker compose, and of course you can add that to the path as well. But for now, let's just use this one up dash d. Okay, then it says this error while fetching a server API version, no such file directory. So it's trying to go through a socket, I think, and it cannot access it. So pseudo system start podman.socket, if you do that one. And let's, uh, there's also a separate command. So sudo is not needed when you root, of course, but okay so you can see this is working okay now let's try that one more time and as you see it's creating network creating volume creating volume it's pulling the db and when that's done it hits another error that's where i really think well you need to do a whole lot to get it up and running with red hat so i will leave it at there for now and so as you can see, you can solve some things, but I'm not there yet and requires a whole lot of tinkering. Alternatively, you can also remove all the Podman stuff and go for Docker again on Red Hat. But I don't want to do that because, because of uh, the yeah, Docker is not supported on Red Hat anymore. I don't want to change that. 
So I don't want to change the base system, just want to uh, have it working out of the box. I will leave it at that for now. And maybe some smart guys uh, have some interesting ideas and insights in the comments. So please feel free to share it. So the next video I will start using Kiwi and start linking a manual test case to an automated Python test case for Selenium. So stay tuned for that one. And that's it for now. Bye bye.